three routers, RA, RB and RC, in a network are connected by links with MTU of 2400 bytes in each link. A client, P, sends a request as IP datagram to a server Q as shown. The link from P to router, RA has an MTU of 2100 bytes. Q is connected to RC in the Ethernet LAN. The length of the original IP datagram, including the header, is 12,800 bytes. Suppose this datagram is stamped with the identification number, ID, 593, and there is no optional information in the header. Question 1a. How many IP segments are created in P? As we know that the IP datagram from P have no optional information in the header, the header size of the IP datagram must be 20 bytes. And the payload size is 12,780 bytes. As the MTU of the link between P and RA is 2,100 bytes, the IP datagram will be fragmented into 2,100 bytes each. However, as each IP datagram fragment needs 20 bytes spaces for the header, the maximum payload each segment can hold is 2,080 bytes. Therefore, by calculations, 7 IP segments are created in P. Question 1b. Show all the IP packets from P to Q. The ID will be copied to all fragment. Therefore, the ID of all fragment are same. The more fragment flag, or mbit, indicate if there are more fragments behind this one. Therefore, from F1 to F6, the more fragment flag is 1. For the last fragment, F7, the flag is 0. The fragment offset field shows the position of this fragment in the original datagram. The offset field show the offset in units of 8 bytes, therefore divide them by 8. Here is all the IP packets from P to Q. Question C. How many IP segments are received in Q? From P to RA, the original IP datagram is separated to seven IP segments, which each segment is 2,100 bytes in size. However, the MTU of the link from RC to Q is 1,518 bytes. In order to deliver the datagram to Q, each of the first six segments need to be divided into two segments, and package into a Ethernet frame. As the result, Q will receive 13 segments. Question D. If no loss and resend is needed, show the size of all Ethernet frames and their IP fragment offset from RC3 to Q. From the previous part of the question, we know that we need to break apart the first six fragments. Take a closer look on the first fragment. From P to RC, the first fragment is 2,100 bytes in size, and 2,080 bytes of the payload. On RC, the fragment will be broke into two fragments. The first one is 1,518 bytes in size, as the MTU from RC to Q is 1,518 bytes. The Ethernet frame have a 18 bytes overhead. The fragment also contains a 20 bytes IP header. Therefore, the actual payload it can hold is 1480 bytes. So for the fragment 10, it payload size is 1480 bytes. And the Ethernet frame size is 1518 bytes. For the fragment 11, it contains the remaining payload from the original fragment.
Therefore, its payload size is 2080 minus 1480 equals 600 bytes. Ethernet frame size can be determined by adding 20 bytes and 18 bytes to the payload size. It is 638 bytes. IP fragment offset indicate the location of the fragment in the original datagram. The original datagram is cropped into fragments like this. The fragment offset of the first fragment is 0. The fragment offset field need to be divided by 8, it is still 0. For the second fragment, its starting location is at 1480 bytes. Therefore its fragment offset is 1480 divided by 8 equals to 185. For the second original fragment, it is 2100 bytes in size 2. Therefore, the payload size and Ethernet frame size will be the same. Fragment 20 is starting at 2080 bytes. Fragment offset is 2080 divided by 8 equals to 260. Fragment 21 is starting at 3560 bytes. Fragment offset is 3560 divided by 8 equals to 445. Here is the full answer for this question.